Veronica. I'm an 18-year-old from Seattle, Washington. I play clarinet in NYO USA. Today, we'll be showing you a combined woodwind sectional rehearsal with coaches Benjamin Lulich, Jasmine Choi, Nathan Hughes, and Andrew Brady. We're going to be working on the Barber Violin Concerto, which we'll be performing with Gil Shaham. I hope you enjoy the video. Bassoons don't give up on the long notes. Ba -dum -ba. That's so small, God. All the way. Don't, don't give up. Uh, we can go on, though. I would also love it at seven if the, I know it's really high in a lot of notes, but if the upper winds, the clarinets, flutes, and oboes can be piano there a little bit more, uh, a little bit more piano. Bassoons have forte, we have piano, and then it's a long crescendo all the way till eight. So if we could start that a little softer, it'd be great. Want to do a bar before nine? Sure. Fun stuff. <laughs> um, you know, at figure 10, these triplets are actually very audible, very dominant. It's, a, it's just the soloist and you guys. And I want to hear the same length of the triplets. Don't be early. Don't be late either. Bop, bop, bop. <laughs> <laughs> I said that because the clarinets were early on the second one. <laughs> <laughs> Should we do ten? Mm -hmm. Sorry, just stop. We're not all getting the first note this, with the same quality of articulation. Can we try and really match, get a little more front, or at least match how much front you're doing? Yeah, so it really starts in three before 14 bassoons. Um, it comes much quicker than you think. Um, also, careful, Isaiah, not to rush. Um, da -da -dum, ba -ba -ba. It gets a little da -da -dum, yes. da -da -dum. Between the oboe and the piccolo, it sounds like two sixteenth notes instead of triplets. This whole section at 12, just make sure it's really locked in to a steady tempo because we have the snare drum going. So we need to be exactly with that. That's uh, a pretty good <laughs> snare drum, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, 
But yeah, um, uh, careful those triplets in the oboe, um, starting at 147, those tend to rush. Um, and then, you know, just that we're, we're super steady here as we pass this melody off from one to another. Also, 142, careful that next, uh, off the second beat, it, it's a little bit too early. Sure, 11. And let's go on to, to this next section, too. Can we do three before 14 super slowly? Da, 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 da. So clarinets have constant triplets. Da, da, de, da, da, da. And you all come on the third. Da, 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 da. Just that tempo. Uh, sorry, three before 14. Those, those are really tricky. Generally, the times I've played it, it actually ends up being the last triplet. <laughs> but always aim for what's printed and be on the second triplet, not, not the last. Can we, can we spe uh, speed it up? Can we do it at tempo now? Maybe back up a little. Um, ba -ba -da, da -da -da, dum, bum, bum. Second uh, bar of 13? Sure. Yeah. Mm, so it's just that first one in the third bar before 14. If you're late to that, it's gonna throw off everything else. So, careful these triplets don't rush at all. One more time. Mm. Yeah, I think we have some metronome work to do. <laughs> and that's with timpani, piano, horns, and the cellos and basses, those bump, bump, bump. Yeah, yeah, we've held them over. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bravo. Yeah. Bravo, guys. That was amazing.